Hey guys, today we are talking about this cool little light for video work and vlogging, the Ulanzi VL49 RGB. With a low price and a bunch of cool features, is this a budget cinematic success like the Blair Witch Project or a total waste of money like all the sequels to the Blair Witch Project? Let's find out and let there be a light. Oh, um, it doesn't have voice activation. I probably should just turn the switch. Everything we are going to cover is listed here along with timestamps, product links and related videos in the description. Plus, if you enjoy the video, then like, subscribe and let me know your questions or thoughts in the comments. But right now, let's talk features. The Ulanzi is priced around $30 or pounds, though you'll often be able to find it for even less. It has a 2000 milliamp hour battery, which will comfortably give you more than two hours of use at maximum brightness from a full charge and up to 10 hours at lower brightness. You get convenient USB-C charging and you can still turn the light on while it charges. The Ulanzi is rated as having 800 lux maximum brightness at a half meter distance. That is equivalent to 800 candles. So. I only need 796 more of these to do an accurate side-by-side -side comparison. Yes, that's right, I'd like to order 796. Is that a problem? Okay, good. Also, do you sell fire extinguishers? 800 lux is more than enough to illuminate a subject in a pitch black environment, and it can also partially fill a fairly large room like this one. This is how things look with the Ulanzi set to 100% in a room around four meters by five meters shooting on the A7C, F1.8, one over 50 shutter and ISO 125. That's also plenty bright enough for any secondary lighting setups I can think of. Like the hair light setup I usually use the Ulanzi for, as you can see here. Good hair light. Shame about the hair. You get two primary modes of light. There's white light with a wide color temperature range from 2500 Kelvin and a more yellow vibe than a Simpsons cosplayer with jaundice, all the way through to 9000 Kelvin and bluer than the makeup room for that Avatar movie. There's plenty of room here to match, complement, or contrast other light sources or to create looks of your choice from scratch. You also get colored light across the full RGB color spectrum. You can cycle through colors from 0 to 359 degrees. The handy chart on the back of the light lets you know how those numbers relate to the color spectrum. This color flexibility is great for adding an extra quality to all sorts of cinematic or product lighting scenarios. But what about the quality of the light itself? It definitely feels a bit cheap and plasticky, but still kind of solid. And thanks to my awful hand-eye coordination, I've already done some accidental drop testing and the light has remained unscathed. That was on purpose. It's around the size of a palm and about three centimeters thick with a weight of 101 grams. That is less than two eggs and much lower in cholesterol. I'm not yoking, this is super light. The Ulanzi also has more mounting points than the average porn star. A quarter inch screw hole and cold shoe mount, plus three more hollow cold shoe mounts. Screw hole. I better check if that's the right term. I should not have Googled that. All of which means attaching the light to your camera or tripod and then adding extra accessories like microphones or further lights is easy and flexible. Good design. Another cool feature you might not even notice is that the light is magnetic. It will stick to most but not all metal surfaces which can be helpful in a variety of situations and is just a really nice addition to increase versatility. It will even magnetize cutlery. Now I know what you're thinking, fork off Dave. Okay, I will. So let's talk about performance of the light instead. For general video use, the LED technology of the light means everything is flicker free, regardless of shutter speed. The Ulanzi is also powerful enough to make an acceptable key light. Here, I've turned off my much larger and more powerful ring light and swapped in the Ulanzi. And I think the results are not bad. Pretty good for a pocket powerhouse. You can also get dark, moody, cinematic results like these. The light has more than enough power and control for really nice plays of light and darkness like you're seeing. My only regret with these shots is the face rather than the lighting. That might have looked better in total darkness. This was shot on the 28 to 60 kit lens of my A7C at f5, 1 over 50 shutter and base ISO. Review of that lens here. So there's nothing fancy in our lens selection, it's all in the lighting. 
Do let me know in the comments if you're interested in some lighting technique tutorials in the future. Vlogging is another strong use case. The Ulanzi perfectly fits your camera hot shoe and gives you enough light for vlogging even in a pitch black environment. You can see the ZV-1 at f1.8, 1 over 50 shutter and base ISO in total dark with the Ulanzi at 30% brightness here, 50% brightness here and 100% brightness here. That's enough light to have autofocus working just fine throughout the test. And the same is true even for a slower aperture setup like this f4 lens on my a6400. Check out this video for more vlog action with the ZV-1 and this light in a night setting. The color changing capability can be a great effect as well. You could change things up in a cinematic scenario to match the mood or aesthetic of a scene. You could create a complementary color accent on the subject for product videography or photography, or perhaps set up a color wash in your studio, like we have here, to add a bit of extra flavor to your shots and better separate your subject from your background. So, overall thoughts here. This is an excellent value light for video and photo work. It's flexible, well-designed, versatile, portable, and light. It's absolutely one of my go-to accessories, and if you're in the market, for a light like this, I can strongly recommend it. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, especially for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, then like, subscribe, and let me know your questions or thoughts in the comments. And until next time, take it easy. VL49 RGB. What could that stand for? Um, very large 49 year old runs goth biathlon. Probably that. I think we'd all like to see that, right?